Hello, and in this part one speaking video, I'm going to look at the topic of sharing. Have you shared anything with others recently? Well, when we eat, both at home or in a restaurant, we often share food. I prefer meals like this because then you get to taste everything rather than having an individual dish with just one flavour. So I think a lot of countries now have meals where you share food. So this is something you could talk about for this topic, an individual dish. Each item of food on this picture is a dish and each dish will have maybe one flavour or one predominant flavour, one strong flavour. So when you're sharing things, you get to taste everything and lots of different flavours. Did your parents teach you to share when you were a child? Oh, absolutely, yes. All parents need to do this. Children go through a stage, a phase when they want to keep everything to themselves and they do not want to share. So parents need to encourage them to share. I don't think it is because kids are greedy. They just haven't learned the value of sharing. So I'm saying, yes, my parents taught me this. And you need to do this because children go through a stage or a phase. When you're growing up, you have lots of stages, lots of phases, and you go through them. And so during this stage, you need to encourage kids to share. And it's not because they're greedy. Greedy is when you want to keep everything to yourself and you do not like sharing. It's a very negative adjective. And they haven't learned the value of sharing. So how important sharing is. What kinds of things do you like to share with others? Well, food obviously is the main thing. Having said that, though, I am not keen on sharing puddings. It annoys me when the person I'm with says, I don't want a pudding. And then when my pudding arrives, they want to try it. So a pudding is what we have after a meal. It's also called a dessert or a sweet. And this often happens. Women do this a lot and say, I don't want it. And then want to share the pudding when it arrives. So because I've said, well, food, I like sharing, but then I'm going to say something that contradicts that, something that's the opposite to that. Having said that, though, is a very good expression. What kinds of things are not suitable for sharing? Well, if someone is ill with a cold, for instance, then food and drink should not be shared as the germs can pass from one person to another. Gossip is another thing that should not be passed on. Sadly, in these days of social media, gossip spreads like wildfire. So I'll pick two things here. So food and drink, if people are ill because of the germs, the germs are passed on from one person to another, and this causes another person to get ill. Gossip, so people telling stories or secrets about another person. So these should not be passed on or shared. But gossip spreads like wildfire. A wildfire is a fire that starts usually in a forest or a wood and it spreads very quickly. So we use this um, idiomatic expression, it spreads like wildfire. It gets passed on very, very fast. So these are the two things that I personally feel are not suitable for sharing. Thank you for watching.